Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about one of two types of multiplication of matrices. This one is called scalar multiplication of matrices. So as I mentioned, there are two types. We have a multiplication of a number or what we call a scalar times a matrix. And then in a future video, we'll talk about how do you multiply a matrix and a matrix. For now, let's focus on this scalar. So a scalar, like I said, is a number that we're gonna multiply by a matrix. We do that in a very, very simple way. All we do is we take that scalar and we distribute it to every single entry in the matrix, okay? So each and every one. So the result should have the same dimensions. So if this one is an R by C matrix, then your result will also be an R by C matrix and each entry will just be that scalar multiplied by the value that was there. So let's take a look at some examples of this. So let's multiply the scalar five by the two by two matrix shown here. So I know already that my answer is going to be a two by two matrix because the matrix that I have in my problem will match the dimensions of the matrix in my answer. So I'm gonna multiply five times four in row one, column one, and that will give me a value of 20. Five times four is 20. For row one, column two, I'll distribute five times zero is zero. Moving to the second row, distributing my five, five times negative one is negative five. And for row two, column two, five times nine, is 45. So here is my result of multiplying the scalar 5 by this 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, let's see another one. This time we have a negative scalar multiple. We're going to be distributing negative 3 into this 1, 2, 3 rows by 1, 2 columns, so into this 3 by 2 matrix. The result will be another 3 by 2 matrix. So let's go ahead and distribute our negative 3. First row, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, and negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Second row, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18, and negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Third row, negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12, and negative three times negative one is positive three. All right, so there's our result from that scalar multiplication. And finally, multiply this scalar of zero times this one, two, three, four by one column matrix. So our result is going to be another four by one matrix. So we will always have the same dimensions. And we're just going to distribute this zero to every entry, every row. So zero times one is zero. Zero times negative two is zero. Zero times negative one is zero. And zero times six is zero. So our result is this four by one matrix of all zeros. All right, guys, that does it for this video on scalar multiplication of matrices. Check us in the next one to learn about matrix multiplication or how to multiply one matrix times another. See you later.